All right, so we bought this off the Facebook marketplace. He said it worked, but I know it didn't work. I bought it as a, I bought it as, as a project. But I changed the battery inside it. Normally, that's what it is with these things. But these are quite old. Battery is quite weak. Yeah, these are normally a NICAD battery they contain. But I've already got um, a couple of spare lipos anyway. Just some time ago. All this and batteries of hobby, hobbyking.com. And they sent me a low by mistake. So we're going to run it off a 2S lipo. Yeah, I think yeah, um, originally it runs on about 3 volts. And as you know, seven, as you know 2S lipo is... um. 7.4 volt but let's see let's see how it copes with it let's see so I've done it before on another one you know but I didn't record it and it's it's, it's, it's held up quite alright the only thing is um, the gears if you put too much pressure on it the gears will wear out because it's all the plastic right look at that it's the charger for it Right, let's get this open now. We're gonna open it. I don't think the battery's gonna fit inside, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tape it to the outside. Right, let's move this box out of the way. safe so the gears don't drop out yeah, you don't want to drop them gears out because there's, there's a lot of pins in there so So there it is. <laughs> but these we should pull out. So let's put some tape on that wire so I know that's the um, positive. I don't think it really matters, but just in case. So there's the old battery. Yeah, that battery must be years old. Right, now we've got to do some soldering now. So the battery actually does fit inside this one it's the other model I think the other model it was slightly smaller the case so yeah but the battery does actually fit in there what I did was this where is it now there was like a little tag thing there I just got these pliers and twisted it off We've got to drill a hole for the balance plug. 
so I can balance charge it. I'm going to drill it. Let me drill it about there. Another hole. Now nah, it's going to be bigger. I think I need to draw that a bit bigger, I think. So what we've done, we've chopped these things off, we chopped them off and we're gonna solder this female end onto the end of the, those two terminals. So we're gonna solder the positive end on that end. Okay, let's strip some of the wire back, turn my southern line on. Right, let's get some heat shrink. Trim that down. Put the heat shrink on it. Yeah, let's start soldering now. Actually, let me get some thinner solder, it'd be better.
one done. All right, so we soldered on both the cables now, as you can see. We're just gonna put some of this on the motor connections because there is a bit of corrosion. So we're gonna put a bit of that on it. Gonna get a screwdriver to spread it out. Now time to put the battery in now, let's put the battery in. So put that in. Put that through the hole. And put the battery in now. And we're just going to tidy it up a bit now. So we've got the wires all tucked in now. You see at the back we have to drill. Well I'll show you when I put the cover on so it don't drop out. So yeah the battery's all in now. Put the switch in. So put the screw back in. So these wires will just tuck in the back here. So the front bit is on now, just got to put in the clip. So that goes in there to hold it. There we go. Job done. So the plan was at the start was to use this charger that came with it. I could have used it but I decided not to. So we just cut we cut a hole out so we can pull out the connector to charge it. And the, f and the thing with these lith with these um, lithium polymer batteries, you have to you have to check it every now and again, because you can't go below three three volt per cell. So as you can see, that's a full battery. So there it is. See the other connector just pulls out the side there. So there it is. So there it is. Let's charge it, just pulled it out. Like that.
And I'll show you the charger that I use. Let me get the charger that I use. So here it is, this is what we use to charge it. This is a charger for lithium batteries. You see there? Tells you right there. Yeah, with, with these different batteries, you can't just use any old charger because the batteries will, they can catch on fire. So you want to you use the, the correct charger. And that's what, it, that's what the battery is there. It's a LiPo 2S. Well, as you can see, this charger will do 1 to 6S. So yeah, if you, if you want to experiment with lithium polymer batteries, make sure you've got the right charger. And if you do this mod, don't go and use um, the old charger that come, that come with it and plug it into, into the mains because it will go bang, believe me. So just be careful what you're doing people when you're experimenting like me, be careful, I know what I'm doing. I'm a trained professional. Yeah. Yeah, this cost me like the screwdriver was how much was it? I think it, I paid like fifty p or something for it down the market. Car boot sale, I mean. Now, actually, no. I bought two. I got this one off the Facebook Marketplace, and I got it for five pound. But well, they, they wanted ten pound for it. I gave them, I gave them a five or, and I got another one for fifty p that I bought down the car boot sale. So what we, uh, see that one there we pay 50, 50p for that one but if this one the um the battery won't fit inside there so we'll have to mount onto the outside see different types black and decker back in the day see that they made different types of these screwdrivers different variations and the thing I like about this one you can use it manually as well so as soon as you get into whatever you're tightening up, you're going to stop and just turn it manually so you don't end up over-talking it, the fastener. 